Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to shoot inside your garage on GTA 5 Online after the 1.12 patch. So to begin with, what you want to do for this glitch is stand in the same location that I'm standing in inside my garage. You want to then go onto your phone, go to the legendary motorsport website on the internet and you want to try and purchase a car which is too expensive and you don't have enough money for. You may need to withdraw some money from your bank account so you can do this, but when you try to purchase the vehicle, it will say you have insufficient funds, would you like to go to the Xbox Game Store, just hit yes, and as soon as you're inside the Xbox Game Store, you want to back out, it will then take you into your online session, but rather than spawning in the centre of the city, you'll then spawn inside your garage. The Legendary Motorsport website will still be open on your phone when you spawn in, so what you simply want to do is close that and you will then be able to select a weapon from your weapon wheel and use it inside your garage. You can also move around, but make sure you do not move too far out. If you do move too far out, what will happen is your game will be reset and you will then spawn inside your garage as normal and you will not be able to use any of your weapons. The best part about this glitch is that you can see everyone who is inside this garage. So for example, if there were different people in their own separate garages, you would be able to see all of them, even though they cannot see each other, because of course they're in their own separate garage. So you can see everyone inside this garage at any given time, which makes this glitch really cool. And of course, you can also shoot these people, even though they cannot see you. Now one thing which you need to bear in mind, when people are entering their garages, you can see their character and you are able to shoot at them, but their character won't take any damage because they're entering the garage, and it's not until they officially enter the garage when you see their character flash and they move forward that you're able to shoot them and kill them. As you can see in this video, this glitch is very simple to do and you can definitely have a lot of fun with it, especially if you use this glitch to troll random people online, as they will definitely be wondering how you've managed to do this. What you can also do with this glitch is go inside the elevator, as the doors do open, but the elevator itself will not go up or down unfortunately. But overall, this glitch is very simple to set up, it's very easy to do, and it's definitely going to be a lot of fun, especially if you want to troll your friends or some random people in an online game. So anyway guys, if you could just take a few seconds of your time to like the video, it would help me out greatly. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video, and tell me what you thought of this really cool glitch. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already, I recommend that you do, as I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.